Hi there, this is Namni, and welcome to my channel, Namni Technical. In the last video, we saw how to make this beautiful bootstrap multi-item carousel, right? And coming to this video, we are going to address the problem which we faced in our previous video. That is, we are unable to show all our carousels at a time onto the screen. We are facing some sort of issues with our CSS. Let me show actually what I am talking about, okay? So, if you come back to our VS Code, and make sure your React server is already up and running, okay? And just press Ctrl P and just click on this app JS to navigate to that. And by the by, this Ctrl P is a shortcut to navigate between different files, okay? So just press Ctrl P and type the file name you want to navigate to and then click on it, okay? For now, we just want to navigate to this file. So I just clicked on it and it will take us to that particular component, okay? Now see here uh, we commented these two lines that is uh, these carousels in our last video right. So uh, first of all let me uncomment this okay. Uh, let me uncomment this as well. Now just press ctrl a save and uh, if you look at our browser what is happening. See now now once uh, refresh your browser actually. See now if you observe carefully the styles which we gave for our bootstrap carousel are being applied to the rest of the carousel. See, if you observe the buttons of the rest of the carousels, see, instead of having uh, instead of having a white background and the height should be somewhat more, but uh, whereas the styles which we gave for our bootstrap carousel are being applied to rest of the carousels, but we uh, but uh, we gave different styles to that carousels as well, right? But why is this happening? What is the reason? Okay, see, the reason is. The reason is uh, let me come back to my VS code and now again just press ctrl P uh, now I just want to open bootstrap multi.css right so just click on this so, so just click on that and I'll just close this uh, app.css app.js sorry and again just press ctrl P and now uh, we just want to go to this carousel.css so just click on that okay and what I'll do is I'll just open this uh, side by side so just click on this icon which will open two files so the side by side and I'll close my sidebar see now if you observe carefully over here we are trying to give different styles in bootstrap multi.css and in carousel.css but to the same class name see see if you observe here this is a slick arrow slick preview and slick next this is also slick arrow slick preview and slick next for the same class names we are trying to give different styles but this is not correct right so somehow uh, we have to change these class names but this uh, we did not define these class names these are the predefined class names which are given to the slider component right so we cannot change these class names directly but there is a way to change them okay so what i'll do is i'll just come out to this tab and i will open uh, bootstrap multi.js i'm sorry bootstrap multi.js it is here and then click enter now uh, let me drag this okay now what i'll do is so just come over to the container in which our slider component is present so our slider component is present inside this container right and inside this container also right so uh, to any of the container so what i'll do is i'll just uh, take this container and i'll just give a class name to this okay so and i'll just give a class name to that and uh, just uh, give it as bootstrap bootstrap multi okay now what we'll do is instead of accessing these class names directly we will access these these class names with respect to this particular class name let me show what i'm talking so just copy this bootstrap multi and come out to here and place here as well see now instead of accessing these class names directly we are accessing these class names with respect to this particular class name that means by this what happens is these styles will be applied to only that slider which is present in the div whose class name is bootstrap multi right and just give a space over here don't forget that okay okay now we are not targeting that buttons directly right we are targeting that buttons with respect to this class name that means uh, that styles which styles these styles will only be applied to the slider component which is present in the div container whose class name is bootstrap multi that is uh, this slider component which is present in bootstrap multi is only present in bootstrap multi right and if you observe see uh, if you go to carousel.css sorry carousel.js see here 
this slider component is not present in a container whose class name is bootstrap multi right see we did not give any class name to this now what happens is these styles will only be applied to this slider component only but not the rest of the two carousels so by this we can eliminate that uh, uh, that is a overlapping of styles right so now just press ctrl s save that is a just save all the files eh? and uh, just come back to our browser now just press ctrl r to refresh your browser see now if you observe if you if you observe carefully this background is white right see now we are getting the styles which are defined for these two carousels only but not uh, which we define for the bootstrap multi that is see here this color is yellow and this color is white but still we are not getting all the required styles properly right the reason is we targeted we targeted only the arrows right but we we should also target the other others also that is uh, this okay we should also target this okay with respect to this particular class name just we gave now but not directly so what i'll do is i'll just press alt to uh, multi uh, that is to, to select it multiple places and i'll just say dot and i'll just press ctrl v that is bootstrap multi and uh, okay that's it right okay now just press ctrl s save now this left and right 50 will also will only be applied to our slider component which is present in bootstrap multi dodges but not the others see now it is perfect right now it is perfect the styles are applied to that particular carousel only but not to the other carousel see here now our uh, uh, buttons are uh, inside our carousel and whereas here we are getting uh, some sort of distance and that now horizontal scroll bar is also gone right so now we figured out the problem right but uh, for safe side to be on safe side what i'll do is uh, not only in bootstrap multi but also uh, i'll just give a class name to this also so that if you uh, if you make any sliders in uh, future so it will not be affected by that okay so just uh, don't target this okay don't target these class names directly okay so uh, that is one of the mistake we have done actually so for this also what i'll do is i'll just say class name equal to carousel okay so just press ctrl c and ctrl s save okay what i'll do is now i'll just close this no need of this anymore so now just come over to uh, carousel.css and instead of targeting these directly so don't target these class names directly okay and uh, still anywhere we are targeting the class names which are related to uh, so okay that's it so these are the class names we are targeting directly which are related to our slider component right so that's it now just press ctrl s save and uh, we should also uh, give this class name in our bootstrap uh, the, i'm sorry multi item carousel as well the reason is uh, we are having the same styles over here also that is we want the same styles here also now if you observe see the styles are missing right so uh, we should also give the same class name over here as we want the same styles so class name equal to carousel now just press ctrl save now it should be figured now it should be figured out see now it is figured out okay okay and one more thing uh, actually in the last video we forget uh, that is uh, this bootstrap multi carousel for this bootstrap multi carousel we have dot indicators but whereas in our case we don't have any dot indicators right so in order to get dot indicators i think you know what to do so if you are following this playlist thoroughly you will be able to figure it out okay so just press ctrl p and uh, we want to go to bootstrap multi dot js and uh, what we should do to get the dot indicators yes of course you guessed it right so just pass dots okay just pass a prop called dots and now we should be able to see the dots over here uh, where are they okay i have to scroll down actually see now we are able to see these dots right see but these are really small right so how to target these buttons okay further what i'll do is i'll just press ctrl shift i to open my dev tools and uh, what i'll do is i'll just uh, inspect those uh, dots okay so just uh, click on this uh, and uh, these dots are present in this uh, ul li button 
and on this button before we have the dots okay on this button before we have the dots so just click on style so we have to target uh, this okay we have to target this so just copy this class name and uh, i'll just close my dev tools now just uh, come back to our vs code and uh, just open bootstrap multi dot css okay so uh, this this class name is related to our slider component right so we are not going to target it directly instead what we'll do we'll just uh, target that with respect to this class name okay now just paste that and uh, just say font size of uh, let's say 20 20 pixel and let's see how it's look like okay now just press ctrl s save and uh, back to our browser just scroll down a little bit okay actually it became a lot so i'll just say it as a 15 pixel i think it will be enough now just press ctrl s save okay now it is looking good right so that's it for this video guys thanks for watching do subscribe for further updates